hello and a welcome or welcome back. I'm gonna try to talk at a normal level today. I don't know why I talk so quietly and I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but today we're doing another trying new products video. Um, a couple of these are um, ones I'm trying for a second time and then some of these are ones that I'm trying for the first time. Um, so, let's just get into it. Um, I have not finished my base makeup yet because I am, once again, trying the smelliest powder ever. This is the Ofra Banana Powder. And I am also gonna retry the Iconic London Illuminator Drops, whatever, whatever they are. So I'm gonna do the liquid highlight first obviously and then I have a little um, a little face palette to try and uh, I actually have a new highlighter which is actually very exciting and you will see why in a moment okay so I'm gonna be smarter about this Let's see. I'm gonna take it on my finger first I'm gonna do like some little dots where I want it and then I'm gonna blend it out with a brush I still took too much I still took way too much God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Now let's see if this goes better. I'm just gonna take whatever's left and put it up here. Okay, that looks much nicer. Much, much nicer. Do I think they're worth paying $40 for? No, it's a liquid highlighter. <laughs> you can get cheap ones from e.l.f., from NYX. Um, what other ones do I have? Oh, I have this beautiful one from the Beauty Crop. Um, they just recently, I think, they used to just have this one shade, but they revamped them and they brought out a bunch of shades. Um, these are beautiful. If I had to recommend any liquid highlighter, it would be the ones from the Beauty Crop. Totally recommend those. But, so would I pay $40 for this? No, not necessarily. And I didn't. I bought it on sale on BoxyCharm. All right, and then I'm going to give this guy another go. Why did I do that? It doesn't, like, it's not so bad. Maybe it's because I've opened it a few times now. Maybe the smell is starting to wear off. I don't know if you can see a difference on camera. But I literally can't tell that it's there. It doesn't look, like it looks so yellow in the pan, but it doesn't come off that way in person. Interesting. Woke up early from his nap, so he is in here. Just warning you. Baby is in the room. Alright, then I have a couple other face products to try. So I like to start with bronzer, then do blush, then do highlight. So I'm going to start with this bronzer. This is the Real Her Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek Trio. I got this in a boxy charm a couple months ago. I'm going to go in with the bronzer first. And then I am using the blush and the highlight from this palette as well. But I have another highlighter that I also want to try. Ooh, I think I grabbed too much. I'm just wiping that brush off on the back of my, or on my palm. Rub it off wherever. I'm just gonna blend it 
picked up too much. I'm used to my like cover effects bronzer and stuff that I have. Okay. I'm just gonna pick up less this time. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna take the blush and the bronzer is called Incredible, the blush is called Blessed. And mine looks so weird because it broke in the mail, so I had to repress it. Still very soft. Seems to work fine. I like it. Seems to have a little sheen to it, the blush does. I don't mind it though. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna first take this new highlighter. So I recently decided to try Chaos Makeup, which if you don't know, uh, you probably do because they've been around for a while. Um, they make multi-chrome eyeshadows. They're the first um, brand I heard of making multi-chrome eyeshadows way back. Um, and so recently I decided to try them and I bought a couple things. So I got this highlighter. I'm going to try to make it so you can see the shift. This is called Galaxy and it's supposed to be a multi-chrome highlighter. It's supposed to go from like blue to, or maybe not blue, I can't remember the colors it's supposed to go, but I think it was like pink to orange to green to blue, if I'm remembering right. So we're going to give that a go. And then I also got a couple eyeshadows. I don't know if I'll use these today, but I got Intergalactic and Junebug. These were the two that didn't come in the big bundle, if you bought the bundle of multi crones. They will fall out of these little things, so I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen. This is intergalactic, and I will swatch these, even if I don't put them on my eyes. And Junebug. Woo! Like I said, they'll fall out. I really hope you can see that. Um, so yeah, let me swatch real quick. These are very soft and like very pigmented. So there is intergalactic. Can you see the shift? I don't know. If I do use one, I think I'm going to use Junebug. I want to do a red lip today, and I think the green would go better with a red lip. I don't know, though. They're so stunning. They're so metallic. Um, on the website, it says um, you can buy them loose or pressed. Oh, it's okay, bubby. Um, and the pressed are more metallic, and the loose are more glittery. I don't know how true that is, because I haven't tried the loose, but I do like the finish of the metallics. I'm glad I went with those. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to try this highlighter. I'm going to try this on my cheeks and then I'm going to use the highlighter from the palette on the other spots that I highlight. So I'm going to clean off my brush real quick and then we're going to see what this looks like. It's okay. Hold on. Oh, she pigmented. I picked up too much. Why is that a thing I do lately? I would love to know how these multi chromes are made. I barely understand how like regular eyeshadows are made, let alone multi chromes and like duo chromes. Like how? How? I want to know. I will swatch this one as well, just so you guys can see the full effect. Effect. Yeah, it looks green right there, and then like it turns blue, and then when I turn away from the light, it turns like yellowy orange. That's so pretty. That is so cool. I 
I've never had a multi-chrome highlighter. Like I've had the dual chromes, like the white to blue and like the gray to lavender and stuff. Never had a multi-chrome highlighter. Never tried one in my life. Oh, that is so cool. I love it. Oh my God, I was so afraid that this was gonna suck. I was so scared, especially because it was like $20. Let me swatch this guy for you. So it's down at the bottom. Again, I'm hoping you can you can see that. See that shift? It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Oh my god. I love it. Um, and then I want to give this highlight a go too because I'm worried it might be a little too dark for my skin tone. So let's just give it a go and find out. No, seems to be perfectly fine. It's like, you know, you're looking at somebody head on. It's like, oh, you know pretty makeup, whatever, then you turn to the side, it's like a rainbow on your freaking cheekbone. This is the kind of rainbow highlighter I can get down with. I've tried the ones that are like striped and you have to like brush them on a certain way to keep the rainbow or they just turn into like a champagne color. I'm not about those. I want a rainbow on my cheeks, you know, you know what I'm talking about? chaos makeup knows what I'm talking about okay um I also I wanted to play with this guy this is the Zoeva Aristo palette very pretty I hope I cannot see shit right now let me see if I can yeah, so this is the Aristo palette I do want to play with this and again I have a red lipstick that I want to put on as well so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take, what do you call it? Central figure, this warm tan brown. And this is going to go in my crease. This is my first time trying Zoeva eyeshadows too. I've heard really good things about them. I've just never bothered to try them. I decided this year that I was really going to focus on trying brands that I've wanted to try for years and trying new brands and like buying the things that have been on my wish list for years. I finally sat down and like actually made out a wish list and it's freaking huge. Oh my god. I want too many things. Please tell me I'm not alone in that. Okay, and then I'm going to take shade Naturalistic, this deep olive green. I'm going to put this on the outer corner and then I'll blend it out with that fluffier brush. Now, I'm going to take the June Bug and I'm going to take it on my finger because I think that will give me the best results. That is so pretty. Like, it goes from, like, blue green to like more of a like grass green even like more golden to orange it's so pretty I want a little bit more Let's see if I can fill it up a tiny bit more that's gorgeous even just as a like metallic that's just stunning oh my god I want them all now <laughs> 
My husband's gonna be thrilled to hear that. <laughs> I need them all. All right, and then finally, um, I'm hoping this won't be too dark. I'm gonna try taking the Goddess, which is this like champagne shimmer from the Aristo palette, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and under my brow. Okay, I think that will work just fine. And then I'm gonna quickly put on some lashes and do the other eye, and I'll be right back to talk about lips and kind of give you my thoughts on the things I tried today. So I will be back. All right, like 30 minutes later, the other eye is on. My son has been a little fussy. I'm plying him with snacks right now to keep him in a good mood until I can finish this video. Yeah, yeah, because you're being a grump because you didn't take a long enough nap. That's not my fault. Um, anyway, on to the lipstick. So this is my first time ever trying a MAC lipstick. This is Russian Red. Yes. This is a matte formula from them. This is exciting. I've never tried these and these are like iconic. So let's give it a go. Oh, I love the smell. Why do I always suck at applying lipstick around my cupid's bow? Somebody please just tell me. I've had the same Cupid's bow my entire 24 years on this planet, and I still can't get it right. It's either gonna rain or we're gonna get a snowstorm. I don't know. Anyway, so there is that. I love it. I love how this came out. The eyeshadow is so good. Chef's kiss. Um, let's quickly go over the things I tried. So um, we'll start in order. Oh, for banana powder, I will use this. Um, I can't tell that it's on my skin. When I do use it, it doesn't look yellow at all. Um, I don't really think it does much of anything. To be perfectly honest, it's a powder um, that just smells really bad. <laughs> I hate the way it smells. Have I said that enough? That I hate the way it smells? Um, I don't think so. And I'm gonna continue to say it. Um, I think it smells horrible. But um, it's some decent powder. It's a, it's a powder. Um, the Iconic London Illuminator Drops. Beautiful, wonderful. Um, would I pay $40 for these? No, I have cheaper liquid highlights that I love more. Um, if you want to try these, I would recommend just waiting until there's a sale or, you know, if somebody you know who's really into makeup doesn't want theirs anymore or something, I would not pay full price for these. Um, I think they're overhyped. They're pretty, like don't get me wrong, it's pretty, but not worth $40, in my humble opinion. Um, and I'm really glad I never paid full price for them. Uh, the Real Her Face Trio. This is really pretty. I think the highlight is just barely, barely good um, tone-wise for my skin. The bronzer is a little orange on me. I don't really like that. I like more of a cool toned bronzer. And the blush is gorgeous. I love the blush in here. Stunning. Um, the Zoeva palette, I know I only used like three shades. But I love the way this looks. I like that you get a row of mattes and a row of shimmers and they complement each other. They're at least like in the same color family, so to speak. Um, and I do look forward to using this more. The shades I did use work beautifully. Um, the mattes I used, Naturalistic and Central Figure, blended really, really well. And I like the way they showed up. And the Goddess is a good highlighting shade for me. Um, oh, oh, how could I forget? Um, no, I'm gonna save these for last because they're my favorite. And then the MAC lipstick in Russian Red, like it feels matte, but it also feels very comfortable on my lips. I do really enjoy the way it feels. Um, 
I honestly would be into looking at more of these in the future because I know MAC has a ton of colors to choose from. So um, I love the way it smells. I think the shade of red is really nice. Um, BoxyCharm killed it at picking out this for me because I know for December's BoxyCharm they had several MAC lipstick like formulas. There was like the matte, the retro matte, and then I think there were like one or two others. And first of all, I love matte lipstick, so hey. And then they killed it on picking out the red color. Loved it. Love it. And then finally, Chaos Makeup. Oh my god, I need all of these. Um, Junebug is gorgeous. As you can plainly see, it's gorgeous. I love it. Beautiful, stunning, revolutionary. Why well, haven't I tried these before? I'm a fucking moron. Um, you bet your ass. <laughs> I'm going to buy all of them. I need to buy a new palette to fit them all in because I think there's like 10 of these from Chaos Makeup. Um, but yeah, love these. I know I haven't used Intergalactic yet, but it's beautiful and I cannot wait to use it. And this highlighter, oh my god. Um, the reason I went ahead and bought this is because um, I had been eyeing it. Um, they have like five different colors or shades, whatever, to pick from. And I went with this one because I had been eyeing it for a little while. And recently on their Instagram, they posted a picture of it. And they were like, should we discontinue this one? It's like, I gotta get it before they discontinue it. I took that as a sign and I went ahead and got it. And it's gorgeous. I sincerely doubt anyone from Chaos Makeup will see this video or the Instagram post I'm going to make for this video. But don't discontinue it. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It's so, so gorgeous. I want to try more of these. Um, and I think it's so cute, the little seashell it comes in. I think that's adorable. Love it. It's like, it's very sleek, but it's also different. Like, I'll remember to use that because it's in like a little pink seashell. I love it. Anyway, so that is it for me. I gotta go because my son's getting fussy and I think he needs to go back down for a nap because he didn't take a long enough nap to begin with. So that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I promise to get two more tutorial type videos soon and my next five looks one palette video is going to be here next Friday. I'm actually, I'm gonna try to come out with two because Oh, I'm going to try to come out with two uh, next week because I have a very special palette that I want to do one with, uh, a Five Looks One palette video with, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and night wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs>